every freaking star that you see in the sky hosts a family of worlds. I mean, it's mind boggling because every one of those, those are all places, right? They're either, you know, gas giants, probably with moons. So there's the moons are places you can stand and look out or they're like terrestrial worlds where even if there's not life, there's still snow falling and there's oceans washing up on, you know, on shorelines. It's incredible to think how many places and stories there are out there. So, right, the first term was F sub P, which is how many stars have planets. The next term is how many planets are in the habitable zone, right, on average. And it turns out to be one over five, right? So, you know, you know, around 0.2. So that means you just count five of them. Go out at night and go one, two, three, four, five. One of them has an, an Earth-like planet, you know, in the habitable zone. Like, whoa. So what, what defines a habitable zone? Habitable zone is an idea um, that was developed in the... Um, uh, 1958 by the Chinese American astronomer Xu Shang, and it was it was a brilliant idea. It said, "Look, this is there. Is, you know, I can do the simple calculation if I, I take a planet and just stick it at some distance from a star of what's the temperature of the planet, what's the temperature of the surface. So now you're all you're going to ask. You give it a standard kind of you know Earth like atmosphere and ask." Could there be liquid water on the surface, right? We believe that liquid water is really important for life. There could be other things that's happening, fine. 